Welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. For today's episode, I want to talk about mindset. And, and you'll see, you'll understand why uh, I'm following the last handful of episodes, which was all marketing and funnels and, and content creation. You'll understand why um, the conversation about mindset is really an integral piece of that. Obviously, as entrepreneurs, we have to have a certain mindset, and we'll get into that. But also, too, I think it, by the end of this episode, it'll really drive the, the, the point home of um, why the systems that, that I've been talking about, the marketing systems and the funnels, are really, really that much more effective um, than perhaps some of the old school ways of, of building your business. Now, I got to thinking about this particular topic because of, well, thinking about my own business, right? And I could, I'm a network marketer. I'm, I'm building out a team um, with a very new way with, with, the, with the new marketing funnels and strategies that I was talking about. And so it got me thinking, okay, so what have we done historically in the network marketing profession? How have we built our business? Well, we've built our business looking for people who are entrepreneurial minded, right? Uh, as opposed to the employee minded type people. Um, the difficulty I think for our business in the old school way is that because only, you know, one, two percent of the population actually are, are, are you know, have the proclivity um, and have the inclinations to be entrepreneurs and, and have, have, have those, um, yeah, have those kind of mindsets. Um, we then have to either, well, we have to sift through a lot of people, right? We have to talk to a lot of people in order to find those one, two percent. And then what we also have ended up doing historically in the profession is try to convince those who aren't entrepreneurial minded to be entrepreneurial minded. Um, so it's, it's a really, it's, it's an uphill battle, uh, or at least it has been with, uh, with the old school ways of building this business. Again, not to say that they're wrong or, or ineffective. They've obviously worked, and that's why they've endured. However, I think with the internet and social media and all all the new tools we've been given, um, I think our efforts can be much more effective. And, and if we put our energy and efforts towards um, these front-end things and these marketing uh, funnels and systems, then we'll get better results. And, and I'll tell you why. Now, the two categories, classifications that I, I do want to talk about is the employee um, classification and the entrepreneur classification. That's the distinction that I, that I want to get at. Um, again, from my business, I had to really go out there and, and um, try to find and sift through the entire population to find my entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, a rare breed, right? One, two percent of the population who have um, long-term thinking, right? Who can, who can um, uh, have the resilience of doing something that, number one, um, is going to take a super long time, uh, and number two, the re where the results aren't guaranteed, right? So, so there, it requires a high level of resilience and risk, of, risk aversion to be an entrepreneur. I mean, that's why entre the mindset, entrepreneurial mindset is so important. And it, most of you that are, that are listening, that listen to the show are entrepreneurs and you understand that. The employee mindset um, is one that relies on security, right? And I get it, right? Like, and this is why the majority of the population falls into this, this classification. Um, the employee mindset is more short term, right? You're able to get a return on, on your effort pretty much immediately. So, so it's almost instant gratification. Also, you're not, you're not, uh, it's, it's a more secure return, right? It, it relatively, it's, it's relatively, I don't want to say guaranteed, um, but it, yeah, it's relative, it's a lot more reliable, let's say, than, 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 you know, trying to create an entrepreneurial income and, and build an entrepreneurial business, right? Um, it, you can rely for the most part on getting that income on a regular basis so that there, there's that security and that certainty, Right? And so it's that security, the certainty, the predictability, um, the timeliness that really attracts most of the population because we as human beings are naturally wired to seek security, right? We're wired against uncertainty and, and you know, our brains are designed to um, maximize survival and survival really from our mind's perspective is really, really relies on security and stability, right? And so the certainty, the certainty of being an employee is why majority of people are attracted to that. Again, it makes total sense, right? And, and again, no judgment. Uh, the problem then, of course, for network marketers and, and really for anybody is that um, as an entrepreneur for, for the network marketing profession, we're looking for that 1%. And so it's been historically very difficult. That's been, that's been the uphill, uphill battle. And that's why success in network marketing, I think, has been 
reserved for that few um, who are who have that the the entrepreneurial mindset to stick it out long enough and to find other entrepreneurs. All well and good, all well and good. However, as I mentioned earlier, now that we have the tools, the technology, um, the platforms uh, that we have available today, especially through social media and content creation, um, that process can become much simpler in that you can attract people to you who are already entrepreneurially minded, right? Uh, as opposed to sifting and sorting and having to talk to hundreds and hundreds of people and going to networking events and... and um, uh, you know, asking for referrals with this kind of marketing, it's, it's attraction marketing, right? You're actually attracting the type of audience that, that are more likely to have the characteristics, to have the, the mindsets, to have the, the, the traits of your ideal customer or of your ideal business partner. And so they're opting themselves in. The front end work isn't as uh, much of networking and talking to people as it is just creating content, compelling enough content that's going to attract the audience that you're trying to attract and, and, and for them to be able to opt themselves into your funnel. Really, really simple and so much more effective. I would, I think, rather put the effort in, the, in creating the content. I mean, that's just how I'm wired um, than, than going out there, you know, every night for five hours a night and try to meet people at gas stations and talk to people at Barnes and Noble or going to networking events and your, you know, your local uh, um, uh, chamber of commerce type things. You know what I mean? Those, again, are all well and good. If you're, if you like to do that, um, have at it. But for me, I like to be able to work at home, right? Right. I like to be able to sit at home, create content. I, I love the creative side of the content creation as well. Um, and so, you know, might as well uh, play those play to those strengths, and 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 have the the funnel, have the marketing system do that other heavy lifting for me in sorting out um, the people who I'm talking to. You gotta forgive me. I'm. Uh, for those of you watching the video, you know I'm I'm home. Uh, well, I'm not home. I'm not home. I'm at my mom's place. So there's a lot of background noise. Uh, I think a motorcycle just went by, but I think you, you get the point, right? You get the point. The marketing system, because of the two the these two classifications of mindsets, um, the marketing system, the the work that you would have to put in without the marketing system is, I think, much harder um, and it takes much more effort than creating content and, and putting this funnel together, right? That's why the funnel works so well because again, people opt themselves in. And of course, this can apply to any kind of business that you're building, right? It's just it's just getting clear on what kind of audience and, and who your ideal customer or b business partner is and tailor making your content around that, right? So that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully that makes sense. It was for me... Um, a good reminder, you know, as, as I was kind of hashing out this episode and thinking about the different kinds of mindsets, it was a good reminder for me and, and really validating um, why these funnel systems work so well and why I'm so attracted to them as opposed to the old school way, right? All right. So if you have any questions about that, of course, um, follow my new Instagram account. Let's connect over there. It, it shows you exactly um, the the process, the 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 funnel system, the type of the type of content and uh, that I'm putting out there. Um, it's something that you can absolutely model and and you can see everything that we've been talking about in in uh, in action. Um, so go to Instagram. The account is m Ronnie. Cruise. Uh, I'll leave that in the link of the show notes or the link. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the in the description of this video. Um, go check it out. Um, that's why I really encourage you to uh, to uh, follow that account because um, I mean it illustrates everything that that we've been discussing in the last handful of episodes. So check that out. Uh, hit me with any questions um, if you have any questions whatsoever, so that we can connect and we can get your um, get clear and get clarification around around these different uh, principles that we're talking about. And of course, more to come from me in the, in the next episode. So um, until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.